Gambia's Justice Minister has called on United Nations judges at the International Court of Justice to stop what he's called the ongoing genocide of the Rohingya minority in Myanmar. The call comes in his opening statement at The Hague in the Netherlands. Myanmar, for the first time, is facing an international court over the Rakhine crisis. Europe correspondent Nina Potts joins us uh, for more on this story. And Nina, what came out during the public hearings today? Well, this is the first day of three uh, days of hearings at the International Court of Justice, which is, you know, is the UN's uh, justice body. Uh, we had Myanmar's civilian leader, Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi, arrive shortly before the hearings kicked off. She did not speak to reporters. She's expected to address the body on Wednesday morning. Um, and so far, we've had the installation of the, of the judges, but very detailed, a grim listing of abuses and crimes uh, against the Rohingya population to a level of really brutal uh, detail. I think despite UN reports, previous reports and fact-finding missions, this is perhaps the first time the public has really heard uh, that level of de detail in eyewitness testimony, uh, details of gang rape and rape and uh, torture and extrajudicial uh, killings. We heard an appeal to, to Myanmar to stop this ongoing uh, atrocity. Supporters of Aung San Suu Kyi outside the court, uh, as well as protesters and those protests are expected to continue for days. Well, Nina, tell us then the significance of this genocide case being brought up at the ICJ. Well, it's significant on several different levels. The first thing to say is that um, although the ICJ is uh, often called the guardian of the um, uh, Genocide Convention, it's actually the first time that we've had a case come before the court since the 1990s. So uh, it's enormously high profile. Uh, as you know, Gambia is spearheading this case, representing 57 countries that make up the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. So it's significant on that level. But also this is the first time, which is unprecedented, that we've had uh, a leader from a country uh, lead the defense team. Normally that job is done by attorneys or perhaps ministers of justice, but the fact that Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi has decided herself uh, to present herself to the court and lead on the legal arguments is extraordinary, and it's led to significant amounts of speculation as to what this will do to her international reputation. Um, Canada is playing also a leading role in this case uh, with the two top lawyers lawyers for both sides of the aisle. Um, they're both leading lawyers in Canada. Canada stripped Aung San Suu Kyi of her citizenship last year over her silence over what the uh, army was allegedly doing against the Rohingya. So um, a lot of international eyes on this case and extremely high profile and unprecedented in several different ways. Yes, I'm sure we'll be all following it over the next few days as well. Nina Maria Potts, thank you very much for being to us from Brussels.